Yo, what's going on, guys? Nashra here, back with another episode of NHL 21 Be a Pro with Rostislav Nashrov. If you missed last episode, definitely go check it out. That is potentially the biggest one of the year. We played in our first NHL game. We scored our first NHL goal. Here we go. First NHL goal for Rostislav Nashrov. Back in. There it is. The first one. And of course, got our first career NHL win. But it was not all good news. We had a bit of a falling out with our teammate Gavrikov. For some reason, this dude was just absolutely obsessed with hitting up the historical museums at every single stop. Want to see some <laughs> San Jose history? Hello? Gavrikov, what do you want, buddy? Gavrikov, what is your problem, dude? And I've had enough of it. All right, we are going to turn him down 100% of the time from this point forward. Hopefully, it does not ruin our team aspect and our team chemistry too much. But we'll see what happens. Looking at the calendar, we are continuing the trend. We do have a solid 5-1 record. And we will be doing two weeks again today. So we're going to take on the New York Islanders here in game number one. And the New York Rangers in the final game. So it is a battle for New York. Now, there is one thing that I missed last episode. For some reason, on our conversations tab here, we have a conversation with the GM that expires 10-18. I don't know if this is going to be good news or bad news from the GM, but here is our first talk with him. We've got Roslov. You wanted to chat about something, right? What's on your mind? Wait, I've been thinking about this and I want to be traded to another team? Nothing, I just wanted to say hi and hope you have a nice day. Oh no! What is the play here? Do we like it with the LA Kings or we want to go somewhere else? You know what? I just wanted to say hi. I hope you're having a nice day. We are sticking with the LA Kings through and through. They drafted us before the New York Rangers and our goal is to do one thing and one thing only. We're going to take down those New York Rangers today. Technically, if we got traded, obviously we wouldn't be playing the Rangers this episode, so we have to at least wait on that trade. The team is also playing very good. I am going to be a cup contender here in this playoff. We're not messing around. The other thing I just noticed, the Islanders are 0-3-2, so they are winless so far. This is pretty good news for us. We should be able to come out here and put on a show, especially now that we turned down that trade opportunity there with the GM. And here we are. It is go time. The 5-1 LA Kings taking on the 0-5 New York Islanders. If there was ever a time to put on a show, it is now. We also, I forgot, we have moved up to the first line. So we are back with Kopi. Who else is on my line? Oh, no. Is that is that who I think? I think it is Jeff Carter on the other wing, dude. Are you kidding me, Jeffrey? No, it's not. It's Toffoli. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, Toffoli is still a legend. Okay, hey, I love my lineup right now. Let's go, boys. Now, the unfortunate thing is, instead of playing my preferred position on right wing, I am stuck on left. I'm fine with that, personally. But uh, it is something a little bit different here. We got to get buzzing. And we just got double D on. What a pass. Here we go. Rusty to the races. Rusty off the pipe again, dude. I still have not figured out how to score on breakaways. Nothing has changed since the last game. I'm, I'm hopping off the ice. I don't even deserve to play, coach. Put me down to line four right now. Uh... What? Oh my, my bar is back. I, didn't, I literally didn't touch the ice for 15 straight minutes. I played the first shift and there's one minute left. I'm on the first line. What happened, coach? And uh, we are going to go to the first intermission with a tied game at 0-0 and a total of literally 30 seconds of playing time. We got zero minutes of ice time. I did not even touch the puck in the offensive zone. So let's turn this around starting right now. Here we go. Me and Toffoli on the rush. Toffoli, where are you, buddy? <gasps> go, Toffoli! Toffoli, back. Oh my, oh my gosh, Toffoli. What did I just witness? What in the world was that? Oh my gosh, we just killed a man. Going back door to Toffoli. And no, we are down as well. And Rusty, slow to get up. What is happening so far in this episode, dude? I got to get off the ice. Okay, things are fixed. 13 minutes left. I, I don't know. Coach just decided to bench us. We do have a power play as well and a one-goal lead. And here we are with Jeffrey Carter. Jeffrey Carter, of course, loses the draw. What else is new? You know what I'm feeling today? I think we have to get into our first NHL fight today. Coach, maybe maybe just throw me back onto the fourth line now, honestly. Personally, I don't want to touch the ice with Jeff Carter ever again. All right, this is just what happens. He loses the draw. They come right up the ice. One pass across the middle. No one's sitting in the open, and boom, it's an easy goal. Wow. Tough start here for the LA Kings. 
Oh gosh, here we go, dude. Move me down, dude. We haven't sustained any pressure. I need you to change that. I can do that, coach. I'll swing the momentum in our favor. A goal can swing the momentum. I'll get that one. You guys know the drill. Easy goal here for us. Easy goal here. Let's go. All right. Will Will Jeffrey Carter win a draw? Let's go, Jeff. Look what happens when Jeff wins the wins the draw. We got a wheels to the outside. Little fake, double fake, wide open, back door. Duclair. Oh my gosh. Okay, we are going to lose our first line minutes very, very quickly if we do not turn this game around instantly. I'm not going to lie. Duclair is really letting the boys down right now. Wheels. Yep, what a pass. All right, we got a little one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to back. Ref. Line two is coming in huge for us. Brandon side buried the second goal. We do have a one-second power play that we, go, we get to go out here for. Dude, let's drop the gloves right now. We need to get a little momentum going. I know Co I told Coach I was going to come out here and I was going to... Jeff? Jeffrey Carter, what a pass. We're going to go back door, a little spin. Oh, back door. <laughs> How do the New York Islanders have Rene? How do the Toronto Maple Leafs have Rass? What has been happening in this league? And we get to the end of the second period. A 2-1 lead. Not a bad game for us so far, though. For Rusty, it has been absolutely terrible. I have played about five seconds of total offense. We choked on a breakaway. We've had no good opportunities. Let's turn this around. <gasps> Rusty! <gasps> Speed! Oh my gosh, what a play from Rusty to get it to Kopi. And Kopi with a pretty good opportunity. All right, let's go. Dude, I am not getting any minutes this game. What a pass. What a pass! We got to Foley back door in 3 2. Bang! To Foley bury one, please! Oh, coach, please. I need one more shift. This could be the most disappointing game of all time if we don't get 2 minutes 16. Here, we might have an empty net opportunity. If we're not playing well, we can always count on an empty net to get us back into this game. Here. Oh. I'm going for the biggest hit of all time here. Nice. No. Not like this. I'm not even a good opportunity. Tripped him up, table tops him, and we are on the PK with one minute left. Oh gosh, I had to sim it as well. I don't even get to play this one out. One minute and six seconds. Wait, have we done it? Bang, there it is. The boys have somehow held on. That is literally the worst game that we have ever played. I wouldn't even mind if we get dropped down to the second line. That one is on me. All right, not every game that we play is going to be a banger. This is just one of many that you guys will see that will not go our way. And that's all right. Rostislav Nastrov and his team still got the job done despite an absolute choke. We tried to feed our guys back door multiple times. None of them went. That's all good. We go in with a win. We hop into our next game. Let's see what happens. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Coach pulling me aside after the game. Can't complain about what you did, right? All right, we got the win. That's all that matters. So he can't complain. Obviously, we would have liked to get that goal, get that up a little bit, but all good. All good all around. See, I felt like I had a bad game there, but the thing is, like, I didn't get a ton of minutes, right? We, we played, like, 30 total seconds in the first period. So, obviously, can't expect to do too much. We did drop down a little bit on our line bar there. A chance that we get dropped down to the second line in the second game if we play bad. We do have to sim some games here as well. So, we'll see what happens. Looking at our current point total, we are at seven games played and seven points. We're going to go ahead and sim to the biggest matchup of the day. The battle versus the New York Rangers. Now, of course, we do have to get there. What will happen? Here comes coach, ruining my vibe. What do we have here, coach? Oh, gosh. Sometimes you have to work smarter, not harder. In today's game, you can't afford to waste any effort. Yeah, I've got to rein myself in. I got caught up trying to do too much on the ice. Hey, honestly, I'm amazed that coach actually saw that. Have faith your teammates can get the job done. I mean, did I not feed the guys back door six different times and they didn't bury it, coach? Okay, coach realized that we have a bad game. Good to know. We'll keep that in mind. Our management and our teammate bar has gone down. Okay. Tough look for us. Tough look. And our sim continues. So we do have our 2-1 win versus the Islanders. We now move on to our game versus Buffalo. And here comes Drew Dowdy. Take me to the historical museum, Dowdy. Since we have a day off, want to check out a jazz show tonight. Process. <laughs> In the middle of practice. <laughs> Dowdy. I have better things to do than go to a chat. We're telling Dowdy we got better things to do, man. Literally, I just had. How does a free ticket sound? Ooh. <laughs> I'll, I'll come along if you can cover my concessions too. I hope they have popcorn. 
<laughs> yes. He's down. He's done it. Doubt the food is going to cost that much. If a free meal is all you need, then I can take care. What a guy, Drew Dowdy. Let's go. Hey, that's the biggest dub of this entire series. Okay. Let's go, Dowdy. I mean, let's be honest. And of course, the next game, what happens after we go to the Jazz Club? An 8-3 loss to the Buffalo Sabres. A 1-0 loss to the Dallas Stars. Oh, gosh, dude. And here comes Dowdy again. We are not, I'm promising you right now, Dowdy, we are not going back to the Jazz Club. That is... Who loves dinosaurs? The boys are headed to the Science Museum. Science is my specialty in school. Of course I want to go. Going to skip the museum. Not filling up. Understandable, Rostislav. Take your time. There is seemingly a museum in every city. Trust me, I know there's science and historical museums in every city. There, Drew. And here comes Agent McKay. Gosh, dude, what is this? This better be big money brand deals right now, McKay. Hey, kid, looks like a fan of the Kings just won a large poster signed by everyone on the team. And management called me to ask if you wanted to add a phrase to your signature. Awesome. If you got something in mind, tell me so I can pass it on. Something like, to one of our greatest fans, to you. Who wants to be the best? What does that even mean, Rusty? Yo, we're, we're writing paragraphs here, Rusty. From the greatest player of all, Rostislav Nashrov. Let's go. Okay, have we made it to our game? We have. After all of that madness that just went down, we have the rivalry. We're going to take down these guys. We are going to injure them. We are going to fight them. We are going to do everything to prove that they made a mistake. It is game time versus the New York Rangers. Let's go. Here we are. Look at the banners. The Stanley Cup champs. The New York Rangers will be regretting their decision to not take Big Rusty in the draft. I guarantee you that. Here we go. First line minutes. And coach, you better be actually giving me first line minutes. I do not just want to come out here and embarrass them. I want to score my first shot. Rusty? Rusty? Rusty, he's up! Rusty! He's alive! He's been resurrected from the dead! Rusty Slav Nashrov! Let's go! Oh my goodness! My heart sank! I was looking to go out there and score on my first shot. We almost got injured on our first hit. Dude, that was the craziest thing I have ever seen. Here comes Rusty. Up the wing. I'm not passing this puck until... Oh, my gosh. Oh, Rusty was feeling that. What an effort from the kid. Ew. What is this? Ten games played. Five goals, three assists. We only got one. We got one total point in those three games that we sinned. That is rough. Sit down, Panarin. Uh, I got to start making some enemies here. Panarin is going to sit down yet again, dude. Bang. There's another big hit. Panarin is down. We are going to go up the ice. Dowdy, listen, I'm sorry for not taking you to the science museum. Pass me the puck. Here we go. Rusty up the wing. Rusty puts on the brakes. Top left. No. Rebound. No. And there we go. This team is just coming in clutch when we're off the ice, dude. A five on three power play. Jeffy? Jeff, I swear if you... Bang! What a pass! Yes. All right, Jeff. I apologize for everything I've said to you so far. What a play. I got bodied in the corner. I'm pretty sure Rusty actually went into the splits. But it doesn't matter. He got the puck over to declare. That is a power play goal. And we should still remain on the ice. Let's go. Look at us just grinding in the corner. We got bodied. But that does not matter because Duclair is sitting at the doorstep. A beautiful finish. And we are up to... Dude, I, we have not touched the puck in the last five minutes. I'm not even kidding. Okay, this is our first time. What a move. Rusty, wide open, top right. And that is just one period, dude. I, we still don't have a goal. We still have a lot of work to do, but we do have the lead. And that's all that matters to Rusty. Of course, the team player he is. I'm not going to lie. I am starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable on the left side. Like, I, I want back to my right wing. Quest for the Calder? What? <laughs> Igor! Is the number one pick right now? Are you crazy? We've already buried two on him this game. Nah, get that out of here, dude. I've got eight Paul. Oh, now this is personal. Now this is absolutely personal. There's two Rangers that are basically neck and neck with me on this Calder run. Get that out of here right now. 
Okay, I'm ta I am I am taking it personal right now. All right, we are going full sweaty mode starting right this instant. We go out here, we score goal. We're number one on that Calder Cup prediction. Dang, double D on. Here comes Rusty. One on one. I'm approved the medium. <laughs> Let's go! Rusty with a toe drag into a backhander on Igor. Yeah, get off of there. I don't care about that 9-3 save percentage. Rusty with the goal of the season. What a toe drag. What a backhand. And we are now number one. Let's go, baby. Holy, that was disgusting. Coach, fire me up. Don't let your foot off the pedal. We're scoring another goal. You guys, I don't even have to read these. We just scroll down. Hey, we're scoring another goal. No doubt about it. All right. This episode started out a little bit slow, but things have just taken a turn. The Calder Trophy run is what really pushed us over the edge and motivated... All right, we got a game here still. Panarin wide open in front. That's going to be a goal every single time. All good. All good. We'll get another. Let's go, Rust. Let's go, baby. Back door. Dude, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take Panarin out of this game in whatever way possible. What a save from Jonathan Quick. Whether that's injuring him on a cheap shot, fighting him, whatever we have to do, it is going to happen. Panarin, you want to drop the gloves, buddy? <gasps> no! No, not like this! We had Zabinijan stepping in for Panarin, our first career NHL fight. And here comes Rusty. Bop. Trying to get that perfect little under. Bop. One more punch. One more punch. No. Bang. Let's go, Rusty. Zero bar left for both of us. We try to fight Panarin. Panarin will not drop the gloves, but you know who does? The man Zabinijan. And we come in and take him out of the game, too. Oh gosh, dude. This is the most heated rivalry of all time. We have a 3-2 game. Rusty is on the bench for some reason. I don't know how we're getting on from the bench, but five, four, no shots, no shots, no shots. Good D. Okay, perfect. And we will walk away with a 3-2 lead. Things have gotten a little bit crazy here. In this rivalry matchup, we must play smarter. We must get another goal and we must prove the coach that we mean business. Here we go. I am actually low-key a little bit nervous right now because no one on my team can bury the puck except me. It's unbelievable. Oh my goodness. Jonathan Quick, you absolute legend. Here we go. Oh my gosh. We're going again. Rusty. Nice poke. I'm going to try to get my Sidney Crosby actually going behind the net. Ready? Little Crosby spinner. Oh, if I bury that bottom right, we're going to go again. One more time. Around the net. Still there. What a save. Igor, I should probably hop off the ice. All right, we're going to play smarter. We've been getting caught. <laughs> it is Artemi Panarin again. He's left wide open in front, and of course, it is a goal. Wow. Oh, gosh, dude. Just get me out here. And yes, the boys have done it. Okay, a 4-3 game. We have our lead. We have 11 minutes left. We want one more goal to secure this thing. We, of course, are going to target Panarin as hard as we can. And here comes Rusty. Rusty on the wing. We do have full energy bars. We should be able to burn by Truba. We can't quite burn him. Ah, it's unlucky. Truba, sit down. There's one. One-on-one. One-on-one to the outside. Here we go. Back door. Oh, Igor with a big save. I'm going to go for one more skate. Actually, you know what? We're going to play smart. We're going to dump this puck low. We're going to hop off the ice. Okay, seven minutes. We should have one last shift. That's the reason I wanted to get off. This should be our last shift of the game. Weber on Jonathan Quick, and we have stayed alive. Okay, two minutes and 48 seconds we have left to kill. I'm not just trying to kill this. I'm trying to secure the win with one last goal. What a save for Jonathan Quick, and here we go. This is what legends are made of. Rusty, down, but not out. We have hopped back up. No, coach. Coach, you have to leave me out there. Moment of truth. Will we get the last shift? We do not. Rostislav Nashrov has been pulled from the game with one minute remaining. And the LA Kings have held on with a 4-3 victory. A battle of all battles. 
Artemi Panarin versus Rostislav Nastrov versus Igor. And what do we do? We come in, we score the goal of the year, we get the victory, and we prove the New York Rangers wrong. You cannot ask for a better game than that one. Here comes Coach to chirp us one more time. Not exactly a goal, but they can't score if we have them in their zone. That's what I'm talking about. And we go to the locker room very, very happy with the results of today's episode. Let's go, Rust. What a game, boys. What a game. That was a lot of fun, dude. We're going to make sure that every time we go and sim through games, we, we are 100% playing the New York Rangers every single time. No matter where it lands on the schedule, it is going down. We will go ahead and sim to our next game and see if anything else crazy comes up. But regardless, this episode was an absolute banger. And Coach is coming to talk to us for one last time. Hey, Nashrov, how do you think you've been playing so far early into this season? I feel like we've been playing well so far, Coach. I've been playing well so far, and that's no surprise. We'll just keep it simple. Nice team. That's a fair assessment. You've been playing good so far. I have no reason or concern when you're on the ice. Thanks, Coach. I'll keep it up. Let's go, boys. Coach is saying good things about us. Management saying good things about us. Teammates saying good things. We are good all around. And that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy what a run it has been. We got the win versus the Islanders. We took a couple big L's versus Buffalo and Dallas. Came through with the win versus Minnesota. And of course, we cannot forget the win of all wins versus the New York Rangers. That goal, given the circumstances, given the Calder thing that popped up, will go down in history as one of my favorite goals on this channel. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. We will be back with more Rusty videos very, very soon. Hit the video with a like if you enjoyed it. Of course, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 500,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys next time, and peace.